Hello students and fellow researchers. I am going to discuss regression and correlation using Excel. Regression is a statistical process of estimating the value of the dependent variable forward or backward, given the value of the independent variable using the regression line determined by minimizing the square of the sum of the difference between the true or historical value of the dependent variable and the estimated value of the same using partial derivatives and determining the formulae or solutions for the slope of the line and the y-intercept. The slope of the line provides information on how much the value of the dependent variable changes for every unit change of the value of the explanatory variable. The y-intercept gives the value of the dependent variable when the value of the explanatory variable is zero. Applying partial derivatives with respect to A and with respect to B to the equation of the sum squared errors results to the following equations, which are actually the equations for A and B. The values of A and B using the corresponding formulae can be substituted to the equation y caret equals a plus bx. As shown, the minimization process yields the formulae for the slope of the line B and the y-intercept A, values which can be solved when the historical data of the variables are collected or observed. When B and A are determined, they serve as the constant A and the coefficient B of the simple linear regression formula, y caret equals A plus Bx. Let us now consider as an illustration for the simple linear regression this case. For the consecutive weeks, 1 to 10, the sales in units for sugar each week are shown in the data set, shown in the next template. What would be the sales for sugar at week 12? This is the Excel sheet showing the collected or historical data for week x and sales y. In other words, what is y caret when x is 12? To be able to use the linear regression y caret equals a plus bx, we must solve for the values of a and b. We need to program in Excel the formulae for b, a, and y caret. This is the Excel sheet that shows the programming. Encode the following programs in the respective cells. So the instructions are given in this page. And of course, the Excel sheet is also shown where the programs are inputted. In continuation, this page also shows the other programs. Another page for the continuation of the programs. And actually, finally, in J6, the answer is given. That is 30.2242. Regression enabled us to estimate forward 
the value of the dependent variable had to be 12. In as much as the solution has been programmed for any new higher value of x, the Excel sheet will automatically predict the value of y. If you make use of any earlier value of x, a backward estimate of the value i, y, will also be performed by the formula. The forward or backward estimate of the value of y is our process of regression. We proceed to the next topic, correlation. Correlation is a statistical relationship between an independent or explanatory variable and a dependent variable. Pearson R is used to determine the measure of correlation. Pearson sample R represents the extent to which the same individual, respondent, object, or subject occupies the same relative position on two variables. It shows how close the trend between two sets of data from the explanatory and dependent variables is. If the data are not from an experiment, the relationship will not prove causation. This is our illustrative example. For the consecutive weeks 1 to 10, the demand in units and price per unit for sugar each week are shown in the data set in the next template. What is the magnitude of relationship between price of and demand for sugar? This is the formula for Pearson R. However, we can use the program in Excel for faster computation. This is the Excel sheet showing the data, the price versus the demand for sugar. To use the Excel program, click formulas, click more functions, click statistical, click Pearson the array box appears. Type A2 colon A11 in array 1. Type B2 colon B11 in array 2. What does negative 0 0.98896 mean? The negative sign means that as the value of the independent or explanatory variable increases, the value of the dependent variable decreases. Or, as the former decreases, the latter increases. The value negative 0.98896 further means for every 100% increase, in the value of the independent variable, there is a 98.896% decrease in the value of the dependent variable. Or, for every 100% decrease in the value of the former, there is a 98.896% increase in the value of the latter. This also means that 98.896% of the change in the value of the dependent variable can be accounted for or explained by the 100% change in the value of the independent variable. Measures of relationship or association present the closeness of or the similarity in the trend of the change in values of one variable with respect to the change in values of another variable. It shows the parallelism in the changes in the two variables 
as in our previous example between price of sugar and demand for sugar. The very strong negative relationship between the two could lead you to hypothesize that as the price of sugar goes higher, the, the demand for the product lowers. If you computed a very, very low association, for instance, between number of trainings and performance, this could be a basis of your premise that the quantity of trainings would have no bearing on your employees' performance. While the measure of association indicates the trend in the changes of values present in the samples observed, they do not directly point to the trend of values in the entire population. In probability samples, these measures of relationship could actually show if the trend is more likely true also in the population represented by testing the significance of the relationship. In research undertakings, inferential statistics is very important. A non-probability sample that does not have a scientifically accepted support for inferential analysis, commonly termed as significance tests, would have to limit the findings, conclusions, and recommendations to the research sample. From a probability sample, however, the findings, conclusions, and recommendations could be applied to the concerned population of the study. Today, we have discussed regression and correlation. Thank you for listening, reading, and viewing.